the lands call out for a new king. Not just any leader will do. They cry for someone who can not only bring peace and prosperity to their lives, they need someone who can decorate. Yes, decorate and renovate only as a king of august majesty can do. We can be that king. We can give the people what they most desire. At least, once we learn how. Incoming customer detected. Welcome, my friends and fellow engineers. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is Blind Gamer Plays. My name is Ira, and today we are checking out Castle Flippers. So, uh, Castle Flipper is an interesting game, I think. Uh, we will see. I have not played this game ever myself, but I have played the heck out of House Flipper. And I really like that game. Uh, so we are going to get ourselves started. So the My Kingdom. Nope. How about Kingdom of the Blind? Nope. <laughs> nope. That won't fit. Uh, blind Kingdom. Sure. That'll work. That'll work. All right. So uh, this is for those that aren't completely aware of what games like House Flipper and such are. Um, basically, you are playing the part of a renovator. Um, and you have to uh, basically redesign, retool, redo everything inside of a house, and in this case, castles, um, to fit the bill, to fit the uh, desires of the uh, owners of whatever it is that you're doing. So in this case, again, it's going to be castles. Um, so, Castle Flipper, <clears throat> first steps. What you see right now is your own little piece of land that you have inherited from your grandfather. Uh, it may not look very good, but I believe you will uh, turn it into a mighty kingdom soon. But let's focus on what's happening now. Why don't you try to do your first job? Well, that we will. All right, so our first job up in the upper left corner there. Own piece of land, go to the quest board. All right, well. Where is the quest board? I assume it's the big flashy looking thing right there. Yep. We can jump, we can crouch, we can do all the other standard little things like that. Quest board. All right, so this is a quest board. Always check it out to see if anyone needs your help so you can earn some gold. To take a task, select the offer you want and press E. Press O to see the other jobs you've chosen. Okay, so. Does it have a job available? It does. A ruined camp. Our camp was destroyed by a hurricane. This seems like a perfect plot of land for a hurricane, right? The local folk managed to rebuild the missing roofs, but the fences and palisades are still scattered all over the place. It's quite a mess. Word it for the work in the fields, we would do the job ourselves. Anyway, each of the villagers chipped in to hire a professional, except for that cheap boor stoyan. So there is no need to worry about the payment. Well, let us get to work then. So first steps first. You see that the little key down there on the bottom is flashing. That is, uh, well, the Q. And there we go. It is accepted. So I guess we are traveling or traversing rapidly to the spot that we need to be chickens hello chickens welcome you just started your first job to finish it you have to complete all the tasks and clean up at least 80 percent of the trash and stains okay sounds good so we have to do 50 pieces of garbage repair the palisade repair the fence repair the warehouse Cut down the big tree. <laughs> All right. Chests and notes. I'm not sure what that part of things is, but we will see, I suppose, as we go. So repair. To repair an item, pick up a part by pressing the E button and then put it in the right place. Pay special attention to the type of material you pick up. In other words, small wood boards are suitable only for fence repairs, etc. All right. Well. Let's pick that boy up, and I suppose it's going to go there in those green slots, right? Yep. All right, next one. A ladder. 
You can move up and down on a ladder by pressing W and S keys. Press the jump key to jump off the ladder. So I've done that. Up. Hello, up. This would be a very large palisade. Uh, looks like, yep, there's definitely boards missing up here. So, can whoop, go down. <laughs> Hopefully there's no, like, actual health bar. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. So there's that. Put you back into place. Uh, that would be... Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Garbage, garbage. Boop, boop, ah, garbage. Garbage, garbage. Let's see, where does this need to go? Ah. Oh good, there is sprinting in the game. I'm glad to hear that because there is... A lot of space to get through. Do we do anything with the chickens other than look at them and stare at them lovingly? Nope. Snacks. One cup of sour flour. The Smith's Barn is full of it. Two cups of regular flour. One cup of crystal clear water. Work with filthy as well, but then you get lumps. Mix it and bake it until it's gold and smells good. This should suffice until I find the time to resupply. Okay. So what, we actually have to eat? Is this a survival simulator too? So if you click it again, it just trees it again. Okay. So chop chop. To chop a tree, select X A X activity from the circular menu by holding tab. The name at the selected item and press left mouse button. Phew. Oh piggy! Hi piggy! How you doing? Okay, so we've got cleaning, axing, and destroying. Ah, uh, so we have to hit it in the specific spot? Interesting. Okay. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, we have to hit it in a specific spot. So what do we do with the stumps? Ah, can destroy the stumps. Go. Can axe this again. Aha! Uh -huh. So, what do we do with these big pieces? It's rolling and rolling and rolling. Stop it again. Nope. It's just going to roll around forever. Okay. So we have rolling logs on our property. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with those yet. But we'll see. All right. So uh, crouching. Sometimes you may come across a collapsed or a hard to reach passage. Press the left control to crouch. Yep. Indeed. We are crouched and we are no longer crouched. So what do we have over here? Oh, we have a chest. Okay. Treasures. While exploring the world, it is worthwhile to check out even the smallest corners. To many, um, in many places, there are chests and other valuable items hidden uh, waiting to be picked up. Take, take care of your wealth and unlock new items by collecting the chests. All right. I will say the, um, the font in the game is a, a bit hard for me to read um, just based on the fact that I'm not super close to um, the monitor at the moment because I'm talking into the microphone uh, and due to my visual issues. So the way that the font is um, set up, it's a, it's a little bit, a little bit rough on me. So if I miss some words and that kind of thing, I, I do apologize, but it is what it is. So I am truly clueless as to what we're supposed to do with these logs here. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, cleaning. Yeah, there we go. You have to have the the cleaning <laughs> on. I guess that makes sense. Um, I know there was another log that rolled somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. So, can we do anything with the pig? Nope. Nothing with the pig. Okay. What else we got going on? So inside of here, there is oh, another note. Imposter Diary. Dear Diary, today I celebrate the fourth season that I spent in this village. People still don't know that I can speak nor mention that I can read and write. Well, if I spoke, they perhaps wouldn't even understand. I'm still trying to repair my machine, but I need Calaxian crystals and my radar shows no crystals in the vicinity. Good thing I managed to fix the radar itself. 
I can't move the machine without being noticed, so I guess the only option is to bury it well and hike to find the crystals. I'm glad people here accepted me with no problems, and leaving them will be difficult, but I need to go back... Dot, dot, dot. All right, well... Good luck with the Calaxian crystals there, good sir. I hope that everything goes well. Lots of cleanup to do here. Seems like there was some kind of a uh, bad hurricane here. It kind of destroyed everything. I'm not sure if there is a day-night cycle or anything like that. I suppose we'll find out. I think I think there is, um, but again, I, this is my first time playing this as well, so um, I'm honestly clueless. Um, but we'll see as time progresses here. What do we got here? We got planks. Oh, I see. Okay, so are we allowed to pick up more than one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can pick up a couple. And these... Let's see, where do these go? Will these go up on the palisade? That way they belong. I know we saw the missing uh, spots here. Yeah. Nope. Element doesn't fit. Okay. Hmm. So where would these go? Then? Are these like... Oh, these might be slats for the fences. Yeah, that's what it is. There's slats for the fences. Okay. And then these longer ones... Yeah. Then these longer ones have to go up on the palisades, I bet. I bet that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab these then. Can we pick up a couple of these? Okay, so we can hold up to three. And I'm betting if there's if there's any similarity to how House Flipper was, um There's probably skill points that you can make use of that will increase the carry capacity, I'm betting. So I do want to test. Um I'm just curious if there is actually life. Or yeah, you don't take damage by falling, so that's good. That's a good thing. Um, let's see. So we are getting there. We got 11 more pieces of garbage to find and pick up. Over here? Nope. Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. You guys are probably seeing things and you're like, it's right there, you dummy. Stoyan. As I am a wizard, maybe I'll make myself clear by spelling it out. I need M-O-N-E-Y. I won't cast any spells before you pay me in advance. It's not that I'm afraid you'll run away without paying, because then I'll track you in a blink of an eye. It's just a policy that I have to stick to no matter what. Besides, if anything goes south, I want to be sure that I'm paid for the efforts. Say a... Uh, yeah, say the whole village gets accidentally wiped out beyond existence. What then? Do you know how much it costs to upkeep a mage tower? You've seen mine, so you can imagine. I have a standard to live up to. Anyway... Dealing with the hurricane is no problem. However, I cannot assure you where all the debris will go, where all the debris will go away. Uh, since you want to become a bailiff, you should keep that in mind because it'll be you who will be responsible for re rebuilding the village. By the way, are you sure this is the best way to obtain power? You know, I am an actual wizard and I can do whatever you wish for. And the wording's a little weird. Uh, for money, of course. I could make people hate Thomas and love you straight away, but you're my customer, so who am I to disagree? I guess this is just your sweet dream. P.S. Do not. Uh, do you even know how to read? Hell, I don't think about. <laughs> I didn't think about that at first. Well, it's true we spoke about the job at the tavern. Maybe I'll draw what I want from you. That'll be for the best. My regards. Uh, Gandamord. Okay, so Gandamord. A little bit full of himself, I guess, but, uh, you know, if you are a wizard with the ultimate power, I guess that you have every right to be a little egotistical, I suppose. There's one to clean up. 
Um, I know I'm missing it. I'm just, I'm probably like totally bypassing it over and over because you know, <laughs> that's what happens to me with games sometimes. Yeah, there's a piece. Um, so it did say we need to get 80% completion um, before we can count, uh, call this completed or done. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just not seeing any other pieces of trash. I don't know. Okay, well, I saw there's another Palisades ladder there. So let's go ahead and grab a couple more of these. Climb up here and we'll see what we can do to fix this up. Maybe that'll push us a little bit closer to the edge of being complete. Two and three and okay, so we are getting there. We got the palisade completely repaired. We got the fence to repair a little bit yet. We did repair the warehouse and we have to cut down another tree up here. Okay. Just uh, have ourselves drop that tree right there is probably the other tree that it's asking for. So let's grab up the axe and yep. One, two, three, it is done. Destroy that. Fix that apart and we will do the cleanup. One, any other pieces? Was there just the one? Or am I missing it? <laughs> As I usually do. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, finish up this. We're still missing a note and we're still missing a chest. There is another chest here, apparently somewhere. Let's see, all of the fence on that part is fixed up. Oh, is it gonna be one of these outside fence pieces maybe? Or is it gonna be in here? Ah, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. There, got another spot right there that we can repair. boards just in case. Ah, okay. Hey, mission complete. Cool. You have completed the quest. However, you can complete the cleanup for an additional reward. You can find all the chests and notes. So we got a thousand. Got it done in 13 minutes. We can either go back to the house or stay. Let's go ahead and stay. Let's see what we can do to find the other chest. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, oh, hey, there's another, there's another board we can clean up. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, there was a whole pile of things there that I missed out on. I'm a dork. What can I say? We can go ahead and drop that there. Can we go through here? It does not look like it. No. Hello chicken. More chickens. How you guys doing today? You having fun, Mr. Chickens? Uh, you're probably Mrs. Chickens, actually. Let's see. Can we see chest anywhere? Not up here. right there that might be destroy to destroy an item yeah we've, we've already figured out how to destroy the item thank you destroy it aha yes and there's the other chest nice nice another thousand and there's our other note fuel one bucket of clear water a fistful of redstone ash black dried soil calaxian crystal that should be enough to fuel my machine. Well. All right. Well. Yes. We can find five more pieces of garbage. I'm not sure where five more pieces of garbage would be here. But, you know, let's take a look around and we will see if we can get this 100% completed. That'd be cool. That would be cool. I am kind of a completionist at heart. Not always. Not in every game. But in a lot of games, I do like to... Uh, you know, hit that 100% mark. Um, 
Ah, that's considered a cleanup. Okay. Okay. Three more items. That's not a cleanup. Wife used to do a little song with the kids. She'd be all like, clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. They got the biggest kick out of singing it as she made them do work. She's a very cruel taskmaster. Mm, yeah, I'm just not seeing what other items there would be. I just walk on the I walked on the chicken. I'm sorry, chicken. Sorry. Oh, hey, there's one. There was one. So we need what? Two more. Two more. Okay, come on, Ari. You can do this. You can see them. You got it. Yeah, hey, these are the... There we go. Aha. All right, so we got 1,000. We got a bonus reward of 200. Completed it in 13 minutes, and we will go back to the house. This is a pretty cool game so far. I can get into something like this. I like to uh, I like to do the house flipper kind of style games and the tenants and that kind of thing just because it's really relaxing to just sort of zen out and see what you can build, see what you can do, see what you can create. Kind of trips the, the little bit of OCD that I have in myself. So what a mess. You have completed your first job, or first task, sorry. Now you can take care of your own backyard. Press tab to display the activities, then find and select a cleaning activity. Hold down the left mouse button to clean the stains. Okay. Uh, I did not catch what that said about the talent tree. Um, oh, T, there we go, okay. Talent tree, yes, I was I was correct in the idea that they went with the house flipper kind of style. Uh, custodian's eye. Wow, that is really difficult to read. I gotta lean in close here, so I'm sorry if it sounds a little strange, but highlights all of the garbages and stains near a place for a short period of time. Wow, that would that would actually be kind of useful. Um The other stuff is locked, so we cannot see yet what it will be. Which makes sense. So we'll get the custodian's eye. Okay. Sometimes things seem chaotic at the first glance and you have to focus to get the job done. Press Z to use a special sense that lights up all the garbage and stains in your vicinity. So that would have been very useful on this last little task that we had, correct? Mm hmm. Um, hmm. So there we go. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's actually a pretty big vicinity. <laughs> okay, so we will clean things. What happened here with this big stain? I don't know, and I'm not sure that I really want to know. That looked very, very disturbing. Very disturbing indeed. make it we gotta make the ground sparkle yeah we are mopping the dirt mopping dirt it um it doesn't really seem like a task that would be worth the time does it maybe it's just me Kind of wondering what the little arrow things there are when you uh, do the sweeping or mopping or whatever, maybe. I suppose we'll probably find out as we go. But there's nothing like overt about it yet. I will say the game is a little bit, um, a little bit not as optimized as it should be, I think. I do have a very beefy system, and I am noticing that there is some, uh, you know, kind of laggy things going on with the video. Um, but uh, bear in mind, this is basically um, like an early access game, even though on the Steam page itself, it doesn't have it listed as early access. I know that's what they're kind of classifying it. Um, are we supposed to destroy that? Yeah, destroy the house, okay. 
wanted to make sure before I actually did anything like it. Um, anyways, so I'm sure that as they patch things um, and it goes, you know, they will do more to optimize it. But for now, it's just it's one of those things that we're going to have to deal with. So, um, yeah, we need to do one more stain and that's it. So let's find the stain. I suppose if we used our little sense there, we can perhaps see it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that vicinity actually is a little bit small. It doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't pop it up that time. Um, oh, you know what? I wonder if it's, is it? No, that's not that. I wonder if it's out here somewhere. Yeah, I bet you it is. Because we can access this area too. Hmm. Oh, nice. You can get up there. Cool. Ah. That is not a stain. That is a butterfly. <laughs> um, hmm. And again, you guys will have to pardon me. I am I am visually impaired very, very hard. Uh, so sometimes things like this are a little a little rough. Oh, it's raining now. Go figure. Keep hitting Q instead of Z. I don't even know what the range of our house itself is. There might be something like way far out or something that's uh, counting as a stained area and I'm not sure. Um, kind of looking around, facing the ground, and I'm not seeing any interactable. Yeah, you see that kind of like a little bit of FPS drop that's happening. It's not bad. I mean, it's 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 not super overt, and I know probably at least some of it is because I'm doing the recording too. So bear that in mind. But it just something to pay attention to if you are interested in this game. Uh, it is not super optimized, so um, you know we might have until they patch it out a little bit. We might have to deal with that kind of thing a little bit, but. Uh, See, I'm not I'm not sure what extent of zone we're supposed to be working with here. Cause this place is I mean this map is pretty freaking huge, to be honest with you. Uh from what I can see so far, there's a lot of uh space to do things. I would assume that it's like still dealing with this area that we started out with though. Um and not pushing us to go too far away. If so, that'd be a little strange. Go this way very much? Oh yeah, see. There's a lot of a lot of room to do things. Hmm. So, um, I'm a dork. The stain is literally right here, and I know that I had looked at this at one point in time, and I thought it had the job listing still, but that's the the stain that we needed to work with, right there on the board. Yep, there we go. <laughs> now we got it done. All right, so your kingdom needs you, volunteers for the. I'm sorry, volunteers for machinery building, hired right away. Are you fed up with the? Uh, serfdom lifestyle. You cannot hoe as fast as the rest of your family. Or maybe you messed with the authorities and you <laughs> need to uh, lie down for a while. Why don't you stop wasting another minute of your life and join the army to become a machinery builder barracks caretaker? Wow. This rewarding occupation lets you uh, hone your engineering skills while our brave uh, infantry <laughs> Storm somebody else's gates in the name of our uh, beautiful kingdom. Join the army for eternal fame and glory. Yes, yes, yes. You get you'll get your gold too. So we build a trebuchet, place tools in the toolbox. 
Cleaning up garbage and stains. All right, well, we'll get to work with that then. So, I have no idea what it's ha what it wants us to do here. Um, is it... Uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we do it through the quest log, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so hit accept and it will load us into a new spot. Okay. So, build a trebuchet. Place tools in the toolbox. Clean up the garbage. Okay. Let's do things. Uh, Oh yeah, see we have the build. Oh, we got torches now. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do to clean things up. Um, pick up item. Like some logs there. That's probably where the trebuchet is going to go. Yep. Not sure yet what we're going to need to clean. Let's see. Uh, we can open up the door. Oh, there's some goodies to clean. Nope. Dear Erigus, thank you for your kind words, sire. I would like to express my gratitude for you, sire, are the most noblest of lords, earls. Indeed. Seamus, Lieutenant, I guess you're the only one in this godforsaken place who can read. I saw you reading those posters. You can't deny it. However, I wouldn't suspect you, I wouldn't expect you of knowing how to write. Anyway, be useful for once and find me a darn person who can write a decent letter. I would do it myself, but I don't have the time for such silly matters. Well, you just wrote a note, so um, apparently you have more time on your hands than you. Commander, nothing makes for a better opening than sincere words of approval. Let me express admiration for your successful raid for crystals that allowed our wizards to fend off enemy troops once and for all. And by the way, I'm truly sorry for the loss of your babysitter. She was an invaluable military asset, asset and a great agent. However, these are not the reasons why I contact you, Commander Bean. I write you this letter because of my beloved son who is about to enter the age of manhood. I wish to honor him with his own domains for that reason, but Lord Kraft, who happens to be in possession of the greatest palace for such an occasion, will not talk about selling the land. There are plenty of, plenty of other lands across the island, but I reckon Lord Kraft's answer is insulting. Thus I feel compelled, compelled to procure the lands in a more traditional way. I always thought this whole diplomacy and trading is merely a ruse for those who are cowardly. Commander Bean, I order you to rally your troops and mobilize what forces you need. Given crafts do not expect our visit, the storm on the palace shouldn't be difficult. Sincerely, Earl Regis. Regis, Regis, I'm, I'm not sure which one, it be, but some something like that, some Earl somewhere. Okay, so we got a cleanup spot there. And you know what, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does highlight in that kind of way for stains. That is a nice hammer. Meaning spot. Got to make things presentable for the Earl. So, we have all the garbage, we have all the stains, now we can place the tools in the toolbox, and we can start building up this trebuchet. So, let's go ahead and do that. We don't have to chop down the tree, thankfully, this time. interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Let's 
see where the other uh, the other boards for there might be. Maybe I do have to chop the trees down and make uh, make with it. Oh no no no! There we go. There's there's a bunch of them right there. Okay, good. Can I do more? Oh yeah, I can do more than one. Okay, that's helpful. Didn't even try it before, so. <laughs> So yeah, you can do three of these too. That's handy. Almost there. towards the top, right? Maybe? No. Do you see the blue? Oh, wait. There it is. Ah. Okay. So, the trebuchet is complete. Now we have to place the tools in the toolbox. So, I saw there was a hammer over here. Grab that. Yeah, we hold it. It's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm not sure where the toolbox is. Uh, here? Ah, yeah, yeah. Nope, that is the same spot. Duh! That is the same spot. Um, toolbox. <laughs> that is not... Oh, there's the toolbox. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, okay. Hold it. A little hard to aim. Okay. Now we need one more tool. Where would that tool be? So this is Trixie. This is very Trixie. I do believe this is the tool right here. Yep. That is it. Very Trixie. Hard to see these things sometimes. There we go. Got a thousand gold, got a bonus reward of 200, and we completed this one in 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and go back to the house because we got everything completed there, and we'll see what we need to do next. Okay. So we're back at the house, and we can go take a look at the quest board. Looks like we've got a posting here. So, build a small house. <laughs> so I hear you're into construction work. Maybe you'd like to learn some new tricks. We have a little job to do, so if you want to help us and learn something extra, please come to the outskirts. Of course, we'll pay for the trouble. Build our first house with a foundation, roof, door, change the look of the house, and furnish the house. 3,000 gold out of it. Heck yeah, I'll take that 3,000 gold. So, we go to the outskirts. Hit accept, and that takes us to the next lot. Okay, building. Now, you will learn how to build things. It is a very useful skill if you want to develop your, uh, your own kingdom. Go up to the green ghost and follow the hints on the screen. I don't want to be a green ghost. Oh no, not the green ghost. Press I? Is that I or is that J? I can't tell. I. So, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom garden, miscellaneous, and buildings. Perhaps buildings? Perhaps it's a house? <laughs> and yeah, so this is uh... Okay, so we need foundations. We need three foundations. So is that going to be the foundations? Looks like it. Yep. Okay, so there's a foundation. Okay. 
there's a foundation. And there's a foundation. Okay, so. Now we need. Let's see, which part? This part? Yep, there we go. Two, three, four. Is that a door spot? Yep, that's a door spot. Okay. Kind of weird. It uh, makes it flip back and forth like that. Oh, that's a different one. I see. Okay. That would be... Is that this one? Yeah, that's that one. Okay. Go. Next. Need a door. Go. Need roofs. I see I got the wrong roof apparently. Okay, so it's gonna be uh, that the roof? No, that's that's an upstairs, right? Yeah. Wrong button. No, maybe it is the right roof. Maybe I just had it going... Oh, see, yeah, it's got kind of a diagonal kind of thing to it. Is it that? Yeah, that's it. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Okay. Press 6. That's 6. Oh, okay, that's the windows. This tab. Alter or destroy. I guess we want alter. Oops. Alter and make it out of wood. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Fancy. Fancy, fancy, there we go. Okay, so furniture. To insert the furniture, open the equipment with the inventory key and select the type of furniture you are interested in. Press the icon to place the furniture. You can also create your own set of most frequently used items. Click on the icon and drag it to any of the slots at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So it looks like we need a bed. bed. Right bed. That is not the right bed apparently. It wants a cheap bed. Nope. Nope, that's a small bed. It's a little hard to tell what they're wanting. Okay, go. So next we'll need the little dresser. So we'll go with this. Okay. I see, so we don't have to have the exact type. We just need to click it into uh, the appropriate spot. So we turn it by the mouse wheel. Pop it down, there we go. 3,000, completed that in five minutes. Completed the quest. However, you can complete the cleanup for an additional reward. You can find all the chests in the notes. Well, let's go ahead and uh, try it. We can find two chests and no notes. So there's just chests somewhere in the area. A bit of a big area. I don't know if we'll find any chests or not. We'll see. We'll see. Can we interact with anything? Nope. We cannot interact with the other houses. Or at least not that one. Caretaker Eye does not do anything to find chests and that kind of thing goes. Makes sense. That'd probably be a little bit too easy. <laughs> uh, stuff 
definitely a big area. I wonder as we progress uh, with the kingdom building part of it, uh, what exactly we can do. I'm not sure. Like I, I've not even seen a trailer about this game, so I didn't know uh, walking into it what to expect. But I did know how House Flipper itself is, so um, you know, kind of a little bit makes sense of things. But they went quite a bit of a yeah, better turn back. They went quite a bit of a different direction with things with it too so you know it's pretty cool though i'm liking it so far uh yeah hey we got it under the chest nice nice extra 500 gold there else in there nope okay so we might be able to find the other one nice little lake oh got there Ah, yeah, there's the other one. Okay, nice. The completionist in me is happy. Okay. So it looks like according to this, we do have it all completed. I'm not sure how to... Oh yeah, escape to go back to the house. Okay. Yeah, back to the house. Yep. Go, oh, because we got it all completed. So we are back at Blind Kingdom. We can take a look and see what's going on from here. Looks like there's another new message here for us. Build a house, haha. -ha. So, makes sense. Now it's wanting us to build a house of our own. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So we'll go to buildings and we'll build a house and we will lay down some foundations. We'll just do maybe a, a, a smaller house for now just to get it all laid out, I guess. Oop, did I want to move that there? I did not. Can I move it once it's placed down? Uh, this is kind of a little bit weirdly angled there. Let me, let me, uh, let me see. Alter, destroy, axe, torch, clean. Yeah, I guess we can just destroy it. I don't know if you saw that or not, but it's a little bit on the diagonal, and I accidentally hit the button, so... Uh, there we go. There we go. Looks pretty straight. We got four. So now we'll need to do the walls. Just do kind of simple walls for right now, and we can uh, alter things later if we so desire. Uh, let's see. We'll put one right there. And I want to put windows in too, so we'll save room for the windows. That's this one right here. Go there. Make sure we've got everything covered. So then we'll put in the door slot right there. There we go. We'll do some roof. Okay, see that? That went a little, a little weird. We'll have to destroy that and restart that one, I think. That. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything as far as, like, if this is costing me anything to do this, like, to destroy it and then rebuild. I'm not sure. I'm not noticing anything. So that's perhaps a little bit different than uh, what the... Um, uh, the old house flipper kind of style of thing. So we could do plaster, we could do wood, old wood, rocks, smooth rocks, pristine rocks, fine plaster and plaster. Okay, so let's see what plaster is. Can we do that one? No. Nope. We don't have that available apparently. Nope, we don't want to axe it. So wood or old wood, it looks like we have available. Plaster, no. Oh, lacking materials. I see. Okay. So we could do wood. Or we could do old wood. I guess let's see what the old wood looks like. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's cool. Okay, let's take a look and see what the new wood would look like. Aha, I see. So yeah, that's the more brownish appearance. And then the old wood has the uh, aged, yeah, almost dilapidated kind of a look to it. Yeah, we'll do it out of, we'll do it out of new wood. Just 
Hey, it's a brand new house. We're building a nice new house so we can work with that. Let's see, so nice. It's a pretty simplistic sort of a uh, a style of building, but it works. Let's see, we can get some fancy doors now. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. That's uh, that's another door. Okay. Ah, yeah. So we can do nice. Uh, that's definitely fancy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we forgot to put the roof on too, didn't we? Now we got the quest completed. Okay. So. Now what? <laughs> now what? Um. Oh, so now we have a couple of jobs that appeared on the board here. Okay, so time for a cleanup. This old house needs renovations, clean the walls and floors, pick up the garbage lying around, and take care of the garden outside. There's also some furniture missing upstairs. Okay, so we can accept that job. And then, aye aye, Captain. Sir, a rumor has it that you, sir, are the greatest uh, renovator our lands have ever born. I hope you're not too busy and there's a chance you'd be so kind it'd help me with my problem. You see, my beloved uncle Wilfred bequeathed to me a small island. It's not much, and the whole place has definitely seen better days, but it's an awful slander to reject your uncle's will. Thus, I accepted the gift. The island is deserted, and there's nothing else but a run-down house and an old boat. As much as I couldn't care less about the house, the boat sounds promising. I'd love to sail far into the horizon, but considering my current state, the only place this boat can take me to is the bottom of the sea. I hope you can help me fulfill my dreams so I can help you fill your pockets. P.S. Anything you find in the house is yours. Sincerely, Edmund Winslow. Okay. Wow. $7,000 reward for that one. That's not bad at all. Okay. So I do think that we will go ahead and stop here for right now, but... Uh, I will definitely come back to this game. This is a uh, this is a pretty cool. I like this so far. Um, I'm not sure how things will go as we progress, but we will see uh, what happens. And oh, hey, there's a uh, there's a house over there now that was not there before. Actually, let's go ahead and go over here and see. There's a little note for us. So uh, workshop. Oh, this is a workshop. Use it to change the name of your town. Create your own banner or unlock new furniture. Go inside and see for yourself. Well, sure, we'll do that real quick. We'll see what's here. Yeah, nice. Nice and fancy. Okay. Got here. So this is the renaming your kingdom. Okay. This is the unlocking new furnitures, which we can do how. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. So it just does it through cash. Okay, that works. And then... This is to customize your banner, which our banner is right there as it stands right now. It's pretty drab and shabby. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, we will have to mess around with this for sure. We can change it into sort of more of my style of coloring. I love the uh, kind of purplish colors, it's my favorite kind of colors. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Pretty simple to do. Pretty simple to do indeed. Okay, well, we will mess around with this then too when we come back. Uh, in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like. And uh, if you uh, like this kind of thing, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know that you guys are interested. I will definitely come back to this game in the very near future. I'm enjoying it. Uh, this is sort of up my alley. I like it. Um, no survival elements to it like I am uh, always having fun with, but hey, that's okay. That works. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll get into doing some more of the questing. We'll earn some cash and we'll see what we can do to expand our kingdom. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pr deeply appreciate every one of you being here. Uh, and uh, until next time, keep safe, have fun, and thanks as always for being here. Hello, Rose. I saw you taking a little detour out there to talk to that overseer of yours.
This land is his land, and none else are welcome. Enemy sighted! Guys, they're here! Okay. Oh, I don't know. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Thanks for a visit. Have a nice day.